Hey guys, I'm Nikki Dinky. Welcome to my kitchen. So one of my favorite ways to eat garlic, and I eat a lot of garlic, is by roasting it. The first time I had roasted garlic, it was presented at an Italian restaurant, and on the table along with the bread they give you, you know, before you get your meal, instead of butter or oil, they had a head of roasted garlic. And you just took out a clove and you put it on a piece of bread, and I'm telling you, I could have sat there with a glass of wine and just ate that all night. It was so good. Well, now I've kind of taken that flavor and I've put it into a lot of dishes that I make. And the key though is really to roast it perfectly. So I'm gonna show you every tip and technique to make sure that you are roasting the perfect head of garlic. The first thing that we've gotta do is cut this off and expose all the cloves of garlic. So I'm gonna cut off, you know, maybe a quarter, maybe a third if I have to. And I just wanna make sure that I have most of those garlic cloves exposed. I've cut off the top of them. Now if you've got a couple on the side that you find don't get cut off with that one cut that you make, just go around and cut off you know, just the tops of those ones. You don't wanna to cut too low because then you'll lose a lot of the garlic. So cut off you know, just that quarter and if there's a couple left, make sure you get those guys from the side and then you're all set. All I've done is I put a little bit of olive oil over the top, kind of coated it like a tablespoon or so, don't have to be exact. A little bit of salt, kind of season it up and help bring out some of that good flavor. Now I've got it on a piece of tin foil because I'm gonna create a little tin foil home for my head of garlic. I am going to put the tin foil all around the garlic and the key here is that I don't want the tin foil to touch the garlic because if it does, it's going to stick to the garlic and kind of burn and you're gonna end up losing a lot of the garlic because it's gonna stick to the tin foil. That's also why you wanna put it cut side up because you don't want the cut side to touch the tin foil on the bottom or the sides or the top or anywhere. So cut side up, make sure that it's nice and tented over, and then you're looking to put it in a 400 degree oven. You know, if I use my toaster oven like I'm going to today, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. If I use my regular oven, sometimes it takes less. Depends how many heads of garlic you're doing at one time. So give yourself about an hour. I'll keep on showing it to you so you can kind of see at what stage it's done. But <laughs> the aroma that is about to fill your house, oh, you're gonna thank me, I tell you. So I just checked on it and you know, some people would take it out now. It's been 45 minutes and it is a very light brown color, very lightly golden. It's not that it doesn't taste good at this point, it just doesn't taste as good as it can. If you give it a little bit more time and wait for it to be more of a light to medium brown, that's when the sugars are really gonna caramelize and come out and that's when you're gonna get a really intense flavor. So I am going to restrain myself, have some patience, I put it back in the oven and I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. Can you see it? See, it's more of a medium golden brown color. Ah, oh, it smells really, really good. Oh, it smells so good. So this is what I'm talking about, this color right here. Now this took me just a little over an hour, about an hour and five minutes, and it was so worth it. All right, well I hope now you know how to roast the perfect head of garlic. To get it out of here, just let it cool a little bit more, it's still a little hot to the touch, and then just put it over and squeeze it out. Or you can pull out each individual little clove, spread it on a piece of bread, and have a little Italian dining experience like I used to. I will talk to you guys next time. Remember, have fun in the kitchen, and I will see you then.